they did. So they will write the wrong when the master plays. Destruction of the weak is nature's plan. This year will be the 14th Bio Blitz happening right here in Trinidad and Tobago. Teams of experts, students and volunteers will spend 24 hours surveying a 5 kilometer area around Maracas for as many species as possible. Here to share more about this is Dr. Amy Deegan, Senior Lecturer in Zoology at the Department of Life Sciences at UW Augustine and Dr. Mohammed, postdoctoral researcher in the Department of Life Sciences at UWI St. Augustine. Good morning, doctors, and welcome. Good morning. Thanks for having us. It's Thanks a pleasure to have both of you in studio this morning. Thank you for joining us. Let's get straight into BioBlitz. When is it happening and what exactly is it, Dr. Deacon? So you did a really good description earlier. 24 hours of intensive sampling in a particular place. We choose a different place every single year for the last 14 years, mm -hmm. and this is our 14th event. Um, this year we're in Maracas Bay, and the Mar a circle that includes Maracas Bay, Las Cuevas Bay, and even the top of Maracas Valley, because we draw a circle on the map. So we'll have teams of volunteers, experts, students, heading out to that whole area to survey for as many species as possible, plants, animals, fungi, everything. For the public, on the Sunday at Maracas Bay Community Centre, mm -hmm. we have... Uh, an outreach display okay. where we'll have live animals, certain NGOs are going to come with displays, we'll have activities, games for the whole family. So come to the beach at Maracas and then come and see us at the community centre. It's free, we'll be there to welcome you and you can learn about what we found at the weekend, how many species, which species we found. So that's Sunday 9 till 2 at the Maracas Bay Community Centre, which is just, if you get to the gas station in Maracas and go inland a little bit we're just there so you can walk from the beach now one of the things you mentioned is that every year you go somewhere different yes. what was the reason behind choosing this area this year Maracas? Um, this year we chose Maracas because it, it encompasses um, a great variety of different habitats mm -hmm. um, as I said it included part of Maracas Valley which means it includes El Tacut which is the second highest peak in the country and there are unique species that are only found at those peaks yeah. so we're hoping for the first time in all of our history of bioblitzes to capture some of those species on our list you know we, we don't capture them literally but we take photos we list them and we end up sort of collecting a big um, total of species over the 24 hours and we hope to include those we also of course will be doing snorkeling and marine surveys mm -hmm. because it includes the sea and that will also help us to really um get a spectacular number of species in 24 hours, we hope. Yeah, I can see the excitement, and one can only imagine what may or may not be discovered, but also the challenges, because Dr. Mohammed, Mount El Takuch was just mentioned, which mm. many for many can be quite daunting, to say the least, um, which can be a bit challenging, surveying from the mountains to the coast. What are some of the most exciting things you're perhaps looking forward to? Well, we definitely wanted to see if we could find our golden tree frogs, or our Pawi, the two, two of our environmental sensitive species, documenting the distribution of these would be very important. Um, but then some of our diadroma species, species that, that traverse the marine habitat mm -hmm. as well as the freshwater habitat. So it'll be very, very interesting to see what is there, the distribution, if we're going to find any new species. Every year for BioBlitz, we always document something new. It might be something new to science, or it might mm -hmm. be something new for Trinidad and Tobago, or new for the area. But uh, we always find new species for, for the area. And this is very important when uh, we go into future plans for the area, development plans, etc. It's very exciting to think about new species being discovered yeah. because Trinidad and Tobago were already this gem when it comes to birds, for example. So, mm -hmm. so knowing what else we can discover is absolutely mind-blowing. And it must be very exciting because this is also a lot of collaboration, Dr. Deacon. Correct, yeah. This has been an ongoing collaboration between the Trinidad and Tobago Field Naturalist Club, mm -hmm. one of the oldest clubs in the country. Country, um, with the university, the Department of Life Sciences, um, and also this year, um, as in most years, we're, we're very lucky and fortunate to receive um, sponsorship from First Citizens, which is allowing us to put on the event. But this year in particular, we've actually reached out and been collaborating with the communities on that north coast, and we've been visiting the schools. Next week, we're going to Blanchichere Secondary and to the primary schools so that we can ensure that the people who actually live in and near the area we're surveying can be fully involved in the event and help us to you know, make these totals, learn more about the biodiversity that's there. And as Ryan said, you know, we really, there's a high chance of finding new things. And you, you mentioned the birds. We know a lot about the birds. Um, and we know there's lots, but we haven't had the same amount of research go into, say, the moths, the beetles, the plants. So there's probably a lot to be discovered. And those are going to be exceeding, exceeding the bird totals. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes. Yeah, so sure. as you mentioned that with new species being discovered, you mentioned that Dr. Mohammed, Dr. Deacon, what about technology being involved? How are we recording these new species? Well, we we use different methods, but one of the most important methods we use is an app called iNaturalist. Okay. And this is a free app that anyone can download onto their phone, take photos of anything you see and upload it to this website and app, and that will allow you to contribute to the project. And um, also that's a network where there are experts all around the world mm -hmm. um, who can help identify the species. Because we're talking about you know, little tiny insects that we might not have the expertise to, um, to identify here, but we can reach out to this international network for that. So it allows us to keep track. It also allows us to add an element of competition because we can see who's made the most observations, who's found the most species, which is a really fun, and there'll be prizes for that as well. So it mm -hmm. adds, a, adds a little bit of experience excitement. It can be quite addictive. If you start using iNaturalist, you'll probably never stop. I'm ready. I'm, I actually <laughs> picked up my phone to download it very quickly, though, before we wrap our conversation, Dr. Mohammed, Outreach is a big part of this and also the future impact. How do you see this data being collected, influencing our society? Okay, so in the past, we've had bioblitz uh, in everything ranging from Charlottesville, Boca Reef, last year's Guayaguayari. Um, we had one in Toko. I highlight these areas because in the past, um, you all might be familiar with the Man and Biosphere Reserve, UNESCO Man and Biosphere Reserve. Information from the BioBlitz at that event was used in drafting that dossier. Similarly, when the development, proposed development for TOCO was happening, the BioBlitz, BioBlitz data gave a baseline. All right, so. Um, for future plans, this this data set is very important because there is no real data set for Trinidad baseline mm -hmm. unless it's a, a, a EIA being done. So this will be very important in terms of policy development and also um, development plans. Excellent. Well, Dr. Mohammed and Dr. Deacon, thank you for joining us this morning. Looking forward to more species being discovered and having more conversations with you about it. Yeah. Thank you so much. The tw 21st of September, we look forward to seeing everybody there at Maracas Bay. Awesome. The 21st of <laughs> September at Maracas Community Centre. You don't want to miss it. It's BioBlitz 2025. Stay tuned because your birthdays are coming up right after this week.